All right, we're going to be solving equations in terms of a variable. In this first problem, we're solving for w. Now, to do this first problem, again, it's requiring you to do pull on information that you are supposed to have already learned. Okay? And we are going to multiply. It's called cross products. We're going to multiply that. And we are going to multiply that. We will be using the distributive property when we do that. A negative 7 times a negative 9 is a positive 63. A negative 7 and a negative 7 give you a positive 49. That will equal 20w minus 60y. Remember, I want to solve for w. So what I want to do is I want to move all my w's to the left side. So that means I'm going to subtract this 20w from both sides. When I do that, it leaves me with 43w plus the 49x equals negative 60y. Anybody have any questions? All right, moving on. Again, I want to isolate my w, just like if I was solving an equation. I want to solve the equation for w, okay? That means I have to subtract, I have to get rid of my plus 49x. So I'm going to subtract my 49x from both sides, okay? So I'm left with 43w equals, usually we write x before y, negative 49x minus 60y. I cannot add or subtract those because they have different variables. Okay, now I have 43w. I need to divide by the 43. Okay, just like if you had 2x equals 7, you would divide by the 2. I'm going to divide by the 43. When I divide by the 43, it cancels out here, and I divide by the 43 there, I am left with my answer of w equals this. W will equal this, and that will be your answer. Now, in Khan Academy, over here to the right, they're going to have three or four multiple choice answers. Okay? And on some of the problems, your answer will be E, or the last one, which is none of these. Okay? Let's go to the next problem. This one's a little easier or a little harder, depending on how you're looking at it. I'm solving for n, so I want all my n terms on the left side, and that's the only one, okay? That means I'm going to move the 2p over there, the 5q over there, and the 10 over there. I'm going to do that by doing the opposite of what they're doing right now. All three of them happen to be adding, so I'm going to subtract all three of them, okay? Without doing this in multiple steps, please listen carefully as I talk. I have a negative p here, and I'm subtracting 2p. That'll give me a minus 3p. I have a plus 3q here, a plus 5q here. I have to subtract this 5q. When I subtract it from the plus 3q, I get a minus 2q. And I am adding 10, so I have to subtract the 10 from my negative 7. Whoops, and that will give me a negative 17. So getting rid of my p, my q, and my number, that's what I end up with. Questions? Now what I do, it's called factoring, but what I do here is I'm looking at this and I'm saying, well, I'm solving for n. That's the same as n times 2pq. So that's what I'm going to divide by. I'm going to divide by 2pq. It'll all cancel out here. And over here, when I divide by that, 2pq, 
this is my answer. That's what you get when you're solving. Notice you're not getting a nice, neat little answer. You're getting something that is complex with multiple letters. Okay, and that's what your answer will look like. In Khan Academy, because of this the way it's written out, remember, it's going to give you the four or five choices over here, and you'll have to match it up. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Next problem, very similar to the last problem. I'm solving for T, so I need to write all my T's on the left side. I only have this one T on this side, so I'm going to move my M, my N, and my H to the right side. Remember, when I move them to the right side, I'm doing the opposite. Okay, you do the opposite. So let's look at my minus 8m. I am subtracting 2m, so I'm going to add 2m to both sides. When I do that, uh, negative 8m plus 2m is a negative 6m. My minus 6n minus 10n, I have to add 10n to both sides, so I get 4n. My add 3, my subtract 8, I'm going to add 8 to both sides, so I get plus 11. My 3t, remember, I want to solve for t, that is 3 times t. So I'm going to divide by 3. Divide by 3. That is your answer. Question. Okay, moving on. Here we're solving for R. And what I like about this problem is there's R in multiple terms. Okay? I want all my R's to the left side. Right here, these three expressions, those three terms are going to stay on my left side. Okay, because they all have an R in it. I'm going to get rid of my add 8. To do that, I subtract 8. So I'm left with 5RT plus 2RU minus R equals 9T minus 9 minus 8 is 9T minus 17. Now, some of you might remember the distributive property. We did it back in November, and we've done it in various situations throughout in many different lessons. Okay, What I'm going to do here is what's called the reverse distributive property, or the other term that you're going to learn is factoring. Notice all of these I'm multiplying by r. So if I divide all of the r's out, what I have is r times the 5t plus 2u minus 1. If I multiply, I'll get the first term. Multiply, I get the first, second term. Multiply, I get the third term. Okay? So when I factored that out, I haven't changed. I've just rewritten the value. Okay? I've just rewritten it, renamed it. Okay? I haven't changed the value. And that is going to equal 9t minus 17. Notice this problem, just like the other problems, I'm multiplying r times something. To get r by itself, I divide by that something. What I do to one side, I must do to the other side. That is your answer. When you rewrite that initial expression up there so that it's R equals, this is what you get. Here, again, we have where we're, uh, this would be similar to uh, multi-step equations. This would be similar to proportions. This is similar to fractions, things that you need to know with fractions. All this previous information and knowledge you need to draw upon. The simplest way to do this problem, multiply by 10, multiply by 10. What I do to one side, I must do to the other side. 
When I multiply both sides by 10, the 10s in the bottom cancel. Okay? So I'm left with 9b plus 2c equals a negative 7b minus 9d. Question? Yes, we cross multiplied because this, I believe, was a 10, but this number right over here was a 7. So, yes, we took the 7 times the 9b plus 2c. We took the 10 times this, and then we went through what I'm going to do next. Okay? Anybody else? Question? We're solving for b. I want all my b's on the left side. I have to move this b to the left side. 9b. I have to add 7b to both sides, so I get 16b plus 2c is equal to a negative 9d when I add 7b to both sides. I have to get rid of my 2c, so I'm going to subtract 2c, subtract 2c, so it leaves me with 16b equals... Uh, when I do this, alphabetical order, it's going to be not minus 2C minus 9D. I can't add or subtract a C and a D because the letters are different. Only if the letters are the same can I add or subtract them. Now I have 16B. Remember, I want to solve for B, so I divide both sides by 16. That is your answer. Negative 2C minus 9D over 16. Solving for, I didn't write it up here, but I believe it is for x. Okay, we're solving for x. That means all my x's are going to be to the left side. That would be all of those. I need to get rid of this. So I'm left with a negative 4xy minus 10xz plus 5x equals negative y plus 4. If you remember on this problem before, we factored out the x. Okay, we're going to factor out the x because I have an x here, I have an x here, I have an x here, and all three of those terms. I'm going to factor them out. When I factor them out, all that's going to it's going to be like the x's disappear. That's what it kind of going to look like because I have the x out front times. A negative 4y minus 10z plus 5 equals a negative y plus 4. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by whatever I'm multiplying the x by. So I'm going to multiply both sides by this. When I do it on the left side, that disappears. It goes away. It cancels. When I do it on the right side, it's going to be down here. Did I say multiply both sides by that? I'm dividing both sides by that, sorry. Because I am currently multiplying, I need to divide. So this would be a negative 4y minus 10z plus 5, and this will be the answer. Questions? Notice there's a lot of steps. There's a lot of previous information that you need to draw on to do these problems. And that's it. Good luck.